that was my new home screen setup designed by Block. I'm currently running iOS 17, but I still have an iPhone 13. I know I'm a couple iPhones behind, but if you're like me and you want your old iPhone to feel new, I definitely recommend downloading this app. Actually, it's not really an app. What you're paying for is the actual icons and you have to go into the shortcuts and create this design yourself. It cost me about uh, $20 and um, it's very reliable, it's sleek, it look good. All you have to do is put in a little bit of work, but it may be worth your effort. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is go onto the Black website and download the presets for the icons that you want. As I mentioned, there's three different themes. You have your white, black, and rainbow set. I ended up buying a bundle and just got all of them because I might wanna change them out in the future. But the main thing you wanna take from this process is to get these icons onto your phone. I downloaded them from the computer. I'm not sure if you can download them straight to your phone. I'm sure you can. But however you want to go about that process, just make sure you get those icons and wallpapers onto your phone. From there, um, let me see if I can actually jump on my phone and screen record so I can walk you through the process of just adding uh, one of these um, icons so you can see if you want to be bothered with this. So the first thing you want to do is go to shortcuts once you get in shortcuts what you're going to be doing is creating a shortcut for each one of these apps that you have on your phone um, so that you can replace the icon on it so as you can see i have my nba app espn youtube um, all that type of stuff so to do this what you want to do is click the plus icon in the top right corner um, under next action suggestions I selected open app, um, the app that I chose. Um, we'll choose, let's see, Chrome for this one. What I did for this process, and you don't have to do this, I just did this to stay organized, um, was I renamed the shortcut to the actual name of the app, which is Chrome, and then I added the original icon to it. And the reason I did this is because in the future, I might want to change over the theme to the rainbow set or to white. And it'd just be easier for me to track those down to update the icon. So from here, what you want to do is click on the eye icon at the bottom of the screen. Go to add to home screen. Um, once you add it to home screen, you click on the icon in the corner right here. And this is what I was telling you about earlier with just getting the icons onto your phone. If you have them saved in your photo library, you can just click on choose photo and you can select it from there. I have it saved on my desktop and my desktop is linked to my phone so I can just go to files. I'm not going to open up my photos because I don't know what's going to pop up. So we just going, it was probably best that I had it saved in the files location. So you just go to files and um, just type in what you're looking for. Um, it made it a lot easier for me because I was able to search for them instead of scrolling through all the photos. But as you can see, they have the rainbow one right there with the red, yellow, and green around it. They have the white one um, to the far right and the um, black preset one at the bottom. So let's just choose this one because this is the thing that I already have click add and what it did was create a shortcut for your app right here on your screen so it's pretty simple it's pretty straightforward i did that for all of the apps that you see listed here um and i just organized them the way that i i wanted to organize them and it's, it's really that straightforward though um just if you take a little bit of time um and it only cost about 15 dollars you can have a cool setup you know like i said i'm rocking the iPhone 13 still, but with this setup, I might miss out on the next one as well, you know, cause it's really not a lot of new things on these iPhones if we're being honest, but that new log footage do look good on the um, on the 15, so I might have to, but yeah, that, that's, that's just the process. So I also wanted to show you guys how to um, create these yourself. So if you look at the bottom row above the one that we just created with Saks, Neiman's, Goat, and Farfetch. I actually created all of those icons myself in Photoshop. It took me about 30 minutes to create these, but once you get the gradient layout to put over top of it, it goes a lot faster. 
So I'm gonna walk you guys through that really quick, just in case you want a free option and you wanna do this all from scratch by yourself. So let's jump into that real quick. Okay, we are already in Adobe Photoshop. I already have one of the icons loaded into Photoshop. Um, and I did this because I wanna get the dimensions of what the icons I already have. So as you can see, this is 1080 by 1080. And basically the icon is just a black background layer with the logo and a gradient fill over top of the logo. So we're gonna create that really quick um, just so I can show you how to do one and then you can apply this to all of the rest of them. So the first thing you wanna do is create a new layer. Um, create a new layer, add in a black fill on that layer. Um, we're gonna hide this for now. Let's search for um, a logo. Let's see, what's a good logo to search for? Let's just type in logo and see what comes up. Um, okay, let's just take this Twitter logo. So um, save this image. Save it to my desktop, that's fine. Okay, so let's drag this into our file. This already has a transparent background, so that's that's good. Um, if it didn't have a transparent background, you could remove the background. It's pretty easy now, and they actually even have an AI tool to help you remove it even faster. So what we're gonna do is scale this down. Sorry, uh, Command T. We are going to scale this down to about the same size as the logo that we have here. Um, just so it could all be uniformed. Um, once we have that scaled down, we could get rid of this logo now. Get the black background back on here. And already we have a pretty clean, if you wanted to do like a rainbow set, how they have, you could just leave it like this. Um, but if you want to go for that monochrome, like black look, we can just add a gradient fill over top of this. Um, blending options. Go to gradient overlay. And as you can see, I already have this one loaded um, because I made those other ones that I showed you. But um, you just go here and just change the gradient to whatever color you want. Like if you didn't want to make it gray, you can do a purple or a green. Like whatever you want to do, you can get creative. It's free. All you have to do is invest a little bit of time and you can create whatever you want. But again, thank you for watching this video. Um, yeah, you just export this out. And once you get it to your desktop, you just move it over to your phone. And once you move it over to your phone, you can just go through that same process that I showed you to begin with. And you will have your icons. So it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Like I said, just invest a little bit of time and you'll be good to go. So again, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you taking the time out. See y'all in the next one.